Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. If you are following this series, I am sure that you are fully loaded with the theory of Docker. Now it's time for some hands-on. For the same, we need to install Docker in our mission. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let us see if you have Docker installed already in our system. To check if it's already installed, just open up your terminal and type docker it enter. If you see the error, it states that command not found docker. That means docker is not installed in a system. If you see the list of command docker supports, that means the docker is already installed in a system. If it's already installed in a system, you don't need to follow any of the steps and you're all set. Just sit back and enjoy watching the video to know what are the steps involved in installing the docker. As it's not installed in my system, I am going to install it by downloading the docker. To download docker, just open up any of your favorite browser and go to docker.com and click on get started. Please notice docker desktop here. If you are on Windows or Mac, you need to download docker for desktop. For Linux, you don't need docker desktop and can be installed with couple of commands directly and those commands are pretty straightforward. I'll give those commands in the description box and you can just run those as it is. Well, I'm on Mac with Intel chip so I'm downloading this one. If you are on Windows, download for Windows. As I'm on Mac, I downloaded docker desktop for Mac. Let's give it some time to download as it's a little big file. Okay, as you can see, it's downloaded. And I'm going to open this .dmg file. If you are on Windows, you will get the .exe file and open it once it's downloaded. As I said, it's similar to installing any other application in Windows. Just click next, next, agree and install. That's the reason I'm not making a video for that. But if you think I should make a video on that, please feel free to comment. Definitely, I'll make a video on Windows and Linux installation. Drag and drop this whale icon onto applications. Now, we should start the Docker. To start the Docker, just search for Docker and run it. Just click on open and give the permissions it's needed. Please enter your system password. If you see, the Docker engine is starting. That's it. The Docker is started now. To verify the Docker is installed properly or not from the terminal, just open up your terminal or command prompt and type Docker and hit enter. Awesome. You see the list of commands it supports? That means Docker is installed in a mission. Congratulations. As a final step, let us check what version of Docker we have with us. If you see the supported commands the Docker here, you see a command called version. Just type Docker version. And you can see the Docker version here. It's that simple. Now you are all set to start working on Docker. I hope you followed along with me and have Docker up and running in your mission. I am very much excited to do some hands on with you in my next video. Stay tuned. My name is Pawan Tepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.